Hello everyone, welcome back to my regular schmegular channel. My name is Janice and I am not an influencer. I am just a regular person. I need to get ready for a party later tonight. The theme there is 2000s. And I really purged myself from the 2000s, especially since I was a teen. I was a young, young teen. And I wore awful clothing like layered Abercrombie tanks and like capri capri sweats. I don't even know why that was a thing. Um, and a whole lot of low rise. And I'm expecting a lot of low rise denim tonight, but I am a person that will not welcome it back. I like my high rise jeans. It feels comfortable on my stomach. So I'm going to pull together a few outfits from my closet that honestly don't even resemble the 2000s but i did some research on what 2000s fashion and hair and accessories were like i think i'm gonna wear my hair like a better version of this like hair in a clip because there was all like that spikiness my hair's not long enough to do that or like the crazy like lizzie mcguire look <laughs> uh, i'm not going to really go crazy i'm gonna just try my best <laughs> Okay, I'm revealing outfit one, which I don't think is, I mean, it's got the denim, all denim, all outfit denim thing going for me. It's gonna be cold, I don't wanna wear this. I think this might be the one I go with. I'm gonna be warm, that's what I care about. Comfort over theme. <laughs> okay, I found some acid wash low rise jeans. I threw out all my other low rise jeans and mid rise too. I just don't like it, it's so unflattering. I might even wear like a longer t-shirt than this. Not bad, I mean, I think I could wear this, honestly. It's not really a theme, it's just me wearing clothing and like low-rise denim that I never wear. I just don't think, you know, the more I look at it and the more I'm like, it makes me look short, you know, it makes me look short. First, I'm gonna spray my face with this toner. It just feels so refreshing. I'm using these contacts. I don't have terrible eyes, but definitely can't thrive without them. The doctor recommended these contacts because he said they felt more moist than the Acuvue moist ones that I was wearing my whole life. And to be honest, I kind of think they're drier but I already bought like six months worth of contacts. So it's kind of too late for that. I'm just gonna apply my concealer. I'm using the Fenty Beauty. I like it, it's decent. I usually do that. <laughs> Uneven, I know. And then actually mine extends down there, so I'll do that. And then I have just a random ass sponge. And then I'm gonna use this powder. I don't know what it's called. Something powder. It's the Laura Mercier, Mercier, Mercier. It's the woman that's the representative, the makeup representative <laughs> recommended it to me at Sephora. And then I'm gonna just do brows, which all I use is this, the Boy Brow by Glossier in brown. And I'll use like those sample brushes that they have at Sephora <laughs> if I do put on too much product. Okay, next I'm gonna do blush. So I'm using the M Cosmetic Venetian blush. And I literally tap it twice. And then I tap it on my face. Okay. 
Um, and I'm actually gonna go in with a lighter color, Magic Hour by M Cosmetics too. Now I'm gonna do my highlighter. I'm using the Becca. You can't even see a difference. <laughs> That's what makeup's truly about. Putting on a bunch of products that are unnatural to your face to not even make a difference. I almost never use eyeshadow. I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty one using the shade. Literally the only shade I've used. Down on the camel's back. It's like a gold, sparkly gold. Wait, I also have not used this in a long time. NYX the shimmer. So I don't even use the side with that. I actually use the cap. I'm gonna do my mascara next. I like to breathe, huff, blow on my Shiseido eyelash curler to make it warm for my eyelashes. I don't know if it actually does anything, but I just do it anyway. And then I'm using the Glossier um, Lash Slick for my mascara. This is the step where I feel like my contacts dry up. So that's the difference there. Do you hear that? My eyelash curler needs WD-40. <laughs> then I do this to warm up my mascara because it needs warming apparently. I don't really know. I don't know if any of these things that I'm doing is correct or n like, <laughs> or just recommended, but I've just been doing it out of habit for years that it's what I do. I'm sure everyone has weird quirks like that. I usually try to stick to the tips of my lashes. And those are my mascara eyes, my raccoon eyes. Okay, I have final touches. I have these sunglasses from, I don't I think they're my mom's, put on just like random hoops. I have this little tiny little bag that's coming back in fashion, also from the 2000s. Like these, this and this is from the 2000s. Probably this jacket is from the 2000s. I thrifted it in Japan. It's got a hood on it. Pretty cool. And then I have these shoes that I don't know if I really want to wear. I just, I might literally just wear sneakers instead. <laughs> this is the look. What do you guys think? Do I emulate the 2000s? What do you think? Yes, no. Or do I look more 90s? I could see the 90s in it.